Hey guys, I'm Zach from Real here and welcome back to our video. And today we're doing a What Is Pirate Metal, another one in my What Is series. Um, not a lot of these will be done, considering that there's only so much I can get into before it's having to, um, you know, go with certain genres that are like specific to one band. And I don't want to do that because that's very gimmicky. Uh, going with like pirate metal, gore grind, war metal, and you know, other genres of that sort, that people are like, okay, I understand that this is a genre, but what is it? Okay? Let's start off. When pirate metal is a genre that incorporates pirate mythology from the lyrics, music, and stage performances. So stuff like The Kraken, Blackbeard, Moby Dick, are all incorporated. They would incorporate them either within lyrics, artwork, in stage performances if possible, you know. Lyrics also use pirate jargon, stuff you'd hear out of like Pirates of the Caribbean uh, when they speak. Arg can be used, I've heard it used a couple of times, but it all depends on what band you're listening to and what they're deciding to use. Pirate metal combines thrash metal, speed metal, folk metal, with traditional sounding sea shanties. So instead of the folk elements drawing from the medieval times and, you know, medieval and area-wise folk scenes, this draws from stuff you hear on a ship. So you'd have stuff like the accordion, maybe a violin here or there, but you get typical sounding stuff. Choired vocals occasionally, so it's like everybody will sing. You'll get flute too. Folk instruments are commonly used, or at least emulated with synthesizers. I know one of the guys in Ailstorm walks up there with this, like, guitar thing, and he's uh, playing it like this, or, like, it's a keyboard guitar thing, and he plays it, and it has some of the sound, but I've also seen them use violins, so it's kind of hard to determine. Band members may wear time-appropriate clothes, so, you know, pirate hats, and pirate coats, and pirate boots, and might will have a sword on stage you know, belt buckles that look that way, they might look how a pirate would look within a pi with, on a pirate ship. Um, the two earliest examples of pirate metal are Running, Wild, Running Wilds, Under the Jolly Roger, and Port Royal. So, those are the two releases that if you wanted to say started the pirate metal genre. Um, you can. According to the singer and guitarist, the same guy, singer and guitarist, the pirate metal theme was not planned. It grew from the album's title song, so, Under the Jolly Roger. The al this eventually grew to be part of their stage show and costumes. So, something that was completely just like, okay, we have this concept for an album that's pirate based. Well, let's make our music about it. And they also stated once that it was a way to get across their political statement in a way, but most people ignored that for the favoring of pirates, because, well, pirates. And who cares about politics? Notable bands include, of course, the most notable, Ailstorm, Swashbuckle, Running Wild, who is the first pirate metal band, and a very long one, the Dread Crew of Oddwood. Very nice name. And of course, uh, an album to check out is Ailstorm's Captain Morgan's Revenge. I liked this one more than the most modern releases. Um, but it's all up to you. Check out like Ailstorm and Running Wild and all those guys. Um, for pirate metal stuff. Now, the dispute is, is pirate metal a real genre? Yes and no. Um, pirate metal is more of a theatric and lyrical based thing. Does it take elements of pirate folk? Yes. But does that make it pirate metal? In a way, yes. So, this could be considered a genre, but it's also that, like, could it really be? It comes down to what you determine. You think it's a genre? Think it's a genre. If you don't think it's a genre, don't think it's a genre. 
don't put anybody down for their beliefs because you have a different belief. Everybody has the right to their own opinion, and we can respect that, as long as they're respecting our opinions. If somebody's not going to respect your opinions, you be an asshole. Just do it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Turn the gray thumb blue with hypothermia. Turn the red subscribe button for like turning it gray. Ring the death bell. Leave your reply in the comments below. Um, music used in the description, of course, as always. Um, links to my socials and my band camp in the description below. And, of course, uh, our recommended album is Captain Morgan's Revenge by Ailstorm. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.